We're at the Call Sports Center on the campus of the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh where tonight the Sheboygan North Golden Raiders will take on West Bend West in the first round of sectional action. Hello everybody. My name is Mike Martin and joining me is the coach Chris Wright. Chris, we got a real interesting game tonight because they play such differing styles of basketball. Well, there's no question. As people are accustomed to Sheboygan North. They like to run it up, score a lot of points. West Bend West goes to the other extreme. They want to slow it down, hold the ball a little bit. Very deliberate offense. I mean, they didn't score a lot of points against Fond du Lac, and they really shut down Fond du Lac as well. So which team controls tempo tonight might be the victor today. Now, West Bend West comes in with a couple of real fine ball players, a little guard and then a big man inside. Yeah, a couple of An Andes, Voight and Hedeberg. Uh, they uh, kind of run a 3-2. They run their two big post guys underneath, and they kind of swing their guards up on the top a little bit. Uh, both the Andes are, are uh, scoring about 12 points a game, and uh, I heard, understand that the big kid, Hedeberg, is their best player and a force in the middle, and that's what Ty Kyle touched. Log and uh, Brian Herman, I would think, probably get the defensive stop. That's his main concern to shut him down. Now, one of the things that North has going for them is uh, they've seen this style of play in the Fox River Valley. Yeah, they have. Teams have tried to slow it down before, and you know how they react to do things like that. You know, it's it's a lot easier to say you're going to slow things down, but when the pressure defense of Sheboygan North steps up, uh, it causes a lot of trouble. Hopefully, the same thing will be tonight. I think you're going to have two fine defensive ball clubs tonight, but again, I think it's all about tempo. Now tonight we're going to have to depend a lot on uh, Peter Worth again and Kyle Tetchlog and in the paper that today it mentioned that uh, Kyle saves his best games for later in the season when they really count. Yeah and I think Kyle made a very good point about this game a week ago when we were at the conclusion. He said one thing about Sheboygan North is they've been here before where West Bend West has not and a lot of these players Peter Worth Kyle Tetchlog Brian Herman a lot of these guys groovy these guys have been in sectional play before I think that's just a huge advantage. But uh, there's no question uh, the way Kyle and Peter go is how the rest of the team goes. And uh, Kyle's going to have to stay out of trouble, foul trouble with those big guys. And uh, Peter's going to drive to the basket and then kick it out to Cody and uh, Trevor. The floor we're going to play on tonight is considerably bigger than what these teams are used to. Who does that favor, the, the run and gun team or the slow it down team? Well, I think that Sheboygan North is always a very well-conditioned team, so I always think that they, you know, these big courts help them. I know Coach Desitel always tries to get out to the center or to Lakeland. I think try to get out to the center to get the, the players accustomed to that every week. And plus, they played in uh, they played in the Armory as well. So when they have these weekend sectional things, I think that helps them quite a bit. Um, and so hopefully that'll favor North. And like I said, being here before is just huge. Well, the winner of this game is going to be playing Wisconsin Rapids. Uh, they came out with a huge upset. Of course, maybe it wasn't that huge tonight. No, it wasn't. Uh, number one versus number three in the state going against each other. Both teams undefeated, and, uh, you know, hopefully they slugged each other out so if North can get a victory, you know, that maybe they got the legs a little bit tired. But that was an outstanding ball uh, team, both those teams. And I'm telling you what, I don't think there was anybody left in Wisconsin Rapids when that, that game started tonight. So they'll be in force here tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be here too. During the fourth quarter, this place was packed. It's emptied out pretty much. But we're going to have the starting lineups and a tip-off in just a minute, so stay tuned. Challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job. But when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy-to-manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. About a year ago, Mark and I thought, air pollution, global warming. How can we make a difference? So Mark modified our car, some sort of homemade energy source. The best part is the car emits only helium. <laughs> Genius. Genius. But the EPA says the energy we use in our home can cause twice the greenhouse gases of a car. So now I look for products that are in the Energy Star. Simple. The EPA invites you to go to energystar.gov to discover what you can do to reduce air pollution. She had the best medical care. Still, her baby was born three months early. And no one knows why. Help the March of Dimes save babies from prematurity. Join Walk America to raise money to fund March of Dimes research. Let's find the answers together. Stop the spread of AIDS. 
back at the call center, and there you see they're introducing the West Bend West Spartans. I'll go through their lineup first. All seniors tonight, Chris, uh, starting. Andy Voigt, number 10, is a 6'1 senior. He'll be starting at a guard. Number 11, Jamie Wiedemeyer is a 5'11 guard. He'll be starting. Number 30, Zach Gamachi is a 6'3 senior. Number 33, Nathan Hayes is a 6'3 senior. And then rounding out the starting lineup, uh, we talked a little bit about him at the big man in the middle. Andy Hedeberg is a 6'6 senior. For the Raiders, it'll be number three, Cody Schaefer. He's a 6'1 senior. Number 21, Trevor Gruby is a 5'11 senior. Number 25, Peter Worth goes 6'3. Number 35, Brian Herman, 6'2. And rounding out the lineup for the Golden Raiders is 6'5 senior Kyle Tetchlog. North comes into this game 17 and 4. West Bend West 16 and 6. There you see the Raiders being introduced right now. Peter Worth, Conference Player of the Year. Kyle Tetchlog, another first teamer in the Valley. Chris mentioned that uh, Voigt and Hederberg are averaging just over 12 a game. Tetchlog and Worth averaging about 13 a game. Our officials tonight are Brian DeGroote and tossing it up at center court will be uh, Brian Bergert. Bergert uh, officiated a north-south game this year, I believe, Chris. Both these guys we've had before. Seen them a lot of years. I've seen them out here and in Sheboygan and doing ball games. Good, two good officials. And we're off. North controls, and then we have a foul right away on West Bend. Well, that's a good one too. That's on Andy Voigt. Hustle, but uh, kind of stupid foul too, just to. Show a little hustle, but by the way, you get a foul there. That's not going to help you later on down the line. Oh, any foul we get on him early, it's certainly yeah. going to count and going to hurt him later on and in the game. Let's just watch West Bend with their nerves and stuff and see how they handle things here. Hedeberg inside on Tetchlog. Outside shot by Gruby is no good. And Voigt comes away with it. Big thank you goes out to the North High Boys Booster Club for paying our way here to the sectionals. Inside feed to Hedeberg. He can only kick it out. Outside shot is strong, no good by Hayes. A little shocking he threw that one up there. Herman with a rear outside shot, couldn't get that to go. And again, West Bend comes away with it. Like the look though, let the senior take the looks. Worth guarding Voigt. With baseline defense and thrown right into the hands of Kyle Tetchlog. Tetchlog over to Gruby. He's open from three point land and he nails it. You know what I noticed already for West Bend? If you look at Void, he looks tight already. That's a sign of nerves and things. You know, sometimes you need to take a break and then come back, but. Uh, Wiedemeyer trying to break the press was followed by North. Yeah, you're right. You know, when you got the nerves going. It takes away from your oxygen level and uh, you get tired more, uh, oh, more quickly. <laughs> quickly. All right, whatever. <laughs> Wiedemeyer will toss it in. Long feed out to uh, Gamachi. Somebody doesn't have somebody. Now they're all back on the right pieces. Looks like Tetchlog's gonna get uh, Hedeberg tonight. Thought maybe Hermie might play him. Shot is blocked, and coming away with it was Schaefer. North has it on the break. Schaefer open, nobody had him. Had a good look, but couldn't get it in. Then we get a foul on, nor on North. Bit of a late call. We're gonna get uh, Trevor Gruby. Wow, foul. two fouls. So right in is uh, Nate Pitch, Jimmy on the spot. Got to hurry here, Nate. Can't get off his uh, jersey, and uh, that might be the end of Gruby for a while. And it's only his first, Chris. At least that's what they have up on no, the board. No, that will be number two. And they got the fouls wrong or something. Pitch in the game for North. Gruby checks out. 
Wickershine had it. West Bend working the perimeter. Now they're going to get into their set. That first shot they took by Hayes was a quick one, I thought, Chris. Look at how far out Wickersburg, or excuse me, uh, Wickerskirchen is out here. He's way out wide. Inside feed to Hayes. His shot is off, no good, but he gets his own rebound and he kicks it. There's a tie up. Good fight by Cody Schaefer. Got to get on the boards. Arrow points uh, West Bend's way, so they'll get it out of bounds on the uh, alternating possession. You've seen Brian Burgart. Hayes is a big fella. He certainly is. It'll be a good matchup between him and uh, Pitch. <laughs> I think Nate can outjump him. <laughs> of course, Nate can outjump a lot of guys. Yeah, really? About three seconds. Uh, good defense played inside by Herman. Herman going to get called for an offensive foul. Good flop. <laughs> Hermie just a little out of control. Well, I don't know if he was there, though. That's the, the key. Edebrug had it. Gets it over to uh, Wickershine. Ball is almost knocked away, but West able to get it back. Sheboygan. Contact. Also. Yeah, and Sheboygan's got to play with their feet, not with their hands and their body. Ruby got on a poke. Schaefer could have got one there. They got to do a much better job of uh, moving those feet. Wickershin had it. Now it's over to Hayes. Working the perimeter is uh, West Bend. Almost a travel, but no call. That was Gamachi falling down. Jamie Wiedemeyer has it out on top. Looking for cutters. Hayes has it deep. He's being guarded by Tetchlog. Wiskirchen way out here. He really gets it wide. Going hard. And then tossing it out of bounds was Wiedemeyer. Tried to penetrate the pitch, but threw it away. Two, su two substitutions in here. As we look across, I don't think all those North fans are too sad. All those other people left. Now they all got mid-court seats. Yeah, yeah. It's still three to nothing. We're uh, four and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter. Only a three-point basket by Trevor Gruby is the scoring so far. West Bend, yeah, there you see all the empty seats up in the corner. Those were all full about half an hour ago. Herman from outside, the line tries it again and gets it this time. Six to nothing North. Voigt goes right around pitch, gets it over to Hedeberg, and he gets it in. They got him running the ball, Chris. Yep. I like the fact that North's out and running too, West Bend, probably not used to this. A runner by pitch is no good. Worth can't get the shot off, gets it out to Schaefer, who does, in and out, no good. Hedebrug with the rebound and then a foul on North. Foul goes on Worth. That's the fourth team foul on North. Joey Fritch comes in for uh, Peter Worth. North applying the press. There you see uh, Coach Bill Albrecht in his fifth year here at West Bend. And then we get a tie up. Brian Herman going down. Four tying quick, up Hedebrug. I was going to say four turnovers on West Bend already. They're not handling the pressure very well. North, on the other hand, attempted uh, six threes already. And hit on two of them. It's six to two North. 3.34 remaining in the first quarter. Good hands by Tetchlog. I thought that one was thrown away. A leaner off the glass is no good. Grabbing the rebound was Wiedemeyer, but then we have a foul on North, and I think that's going to go on Nate Pitch. Another foul on this end of the floor. They're just starting to mount up, and uh, West Bend's gonna be in a bonus quite quickly here unless things start figuring out for Sheboygan. They're just crashing in there and uh, getting another, every call called. Another bloody nose, that one on Nate Pitch. Rob Kane, number 24, is in. 
White has it, gets it over to Wiedemeyer, and he dribbles right around Fritsch. He's in trouble now. Hedebrug gets it inside. Shot is up and in by Brad Jensen. Jensen with his first two at six to four north on top. They're leaving Herman open. He's gonna shoot it off the glass, no good. Barely drew iron. Jamie Wiedemeyer bringing it up, calling the play out. He's being guarded by Joey Fritsch. Hey, Jansen's a big guy down underneath to Chris. Inside feed off the hands of Andy Voigt and out of bounds. Trying to make the move before he had the ball, Chris. Tell you what, West Bend really does a nice job of getting post position. They're real nice and low in there, but uh, the entry passes there are just uh, not that sharp. Well, they like to do that little bounce pass. You're right, they get good post position, and they try to bounce it in there. Yeah, they really get low and good position on the North uh, defenders. North trying to get in there themselves. North working the perimeter. Catch log open on the wing. Well, we know West Bend can play some D. They've limited North to only two baskets. Fortunately, they've been three pointers. Catch log covered up. Schaefer from way outside. His shot is off, no good. Herman with the rebound, kicks it back out. Cody again, in and out. Tetzlock with a strong rebound and a putback for two. Good second opportunity for North and they converted. Wiedemeyer on a travel. That's over call. and back. That's over and back and that isn't called. That's two violations on West Bend. You can't leave one side and catch it on the other. You gotta establish yourself. Good hands by Herman. Jensen making a one-on-one -on -one move on Tetchlog. His shot is off, no good. Tipped around. Worth on the bust out. Look out. Pump fake not open. Tetchlog from outside the line. They're all shooting threes tonight. Kyle Tetchlog with five points. There's Craig Walters. It's 11 here. to 4. And a double dribble. Six turnovers on West Bend. And this is just the first quarter, boys. You better get used to this pressure. How you handle this, how you're gonna defeat North. Hedebrug back in, Jansen sits down, Joey Fritsch comes in, Cody Schaefer will check out. Cody's panting, he's working very hard tonight. I don't know, I like these seats right at courtside. <laughs> sure beats being back in a corner somewhere. A lob play worth looking for the jumper. He's got it, but can't get it in. Scramble for the ball. North comes up with it. Peter Worth. Rob Kane looking for Tetchlog inside. Looked like he had position, but they wouldn't throw him the ball. Hedebrug battling him. Tetchlog with a 10-footer. Bango. He's feeling it, Chris. 13 to 4. Kyle calling out to his guys a D out. Oh, and there's that dumb foul again. That's out the there on the middle, not even over a court, and we're reaching in there now. That's foul number six. Well, Nate Pitch will come back in. I think Rob Kane will check out after that foul. Coach Desatel thinking just like you, Chris. Move your feet. I didn't say that before, did I? He said it earlier. Yeah, I know I did. <laughs> Tell you what, West Bend's got a bunch of wholesale guys in here. Now this is where you put the pressure on this guy right here. Matthew Schlitter in. Sophomore, 5'7", he's right in the game. That's the guy you want to pressure. Going hard is Wiedemeyer, his shot is no good. Four North guys around the ball on that rebound. Over to pitch with a 10-footer, off no good. Jamie Wiedemeyer with a rebound. Herman almost committing a foul. It's lucky they let him play here. That might have been a foul in an early season game. We got 13. 13 seconds counting down, you're right. Not much left. His shot is blocked. He is following hard, can't get it. Over the back by Hedebrug, no call. North comes away. aware of the clock was uh, Peter Worth, but that's okay. North leads it after one quarter of play, 13 to four.
Back at the Colf Sports Center where the Golden Raiders having a strong first quarter, Chris. Yeah, they did. They uh, creating turnovers, not having turnovers yourself, and uh, shooting up the three tonight. They got 10 three attempts out of the 16 they took in that quarter, and uh, hitting three of them got to do a little bit better than that. Well, we, we uh, praise the defense of West Bend West, but it certainly was North that first quarter that uh, showed how defense is played. That's right, and they got to clamp down. The only thing they got to do is move their feet. Got to stay out of foul trouble here. It's a long way to go. Well, good start start for the Raiders. Hedebrug has it. Lost his dribble. Wiedemeyer being closely guarded by Fritsch. Move very, your feet. Bad a boy, Joey. He's a very clever ball handler, Wiedemeyer is. Not going to be able to slow it down if you're behind. Have to get some backside help. Good defense. Wiedemeyer able to slither through. Schlitter's shot is no good. And Herman high and strong with the rebound. Another one and out. Catch log outside the line. Fires it into neat pitch. And there's his shot is blocked, but he's also fouled. Good feed by Kyle Tetchlog on the break. Andy Hedebrug with his first foul. That's only the second team foul on uh, West Bend, Chris. And now it looked pretty clean, but I think just to even it up a little bit, they give us a call. Got him with the body. Okay. I'll tell you, remember how we started the game with that silly foul? We said, oh, this will this will help. They're sitting with only two fouls. We already have six. Yeah, but Voigt hasn't been in the game for a while, and I don't know, when you're behind like this, you gotta put your, your boys in there. Oh, round and down. Uh oh Hayes got an elbow, he's bleeding. Art, was wow. it? Yep. I missed that. If you get a replay of that, Kerry, let's see what happened. That was pretty quick. Free throw dropped in. Hayes was starting to clear the action, and he got nailed. Well, maybe we'll area uh, Tetchlock caught him by accident. Deep pass, but Tetchlock playing strong safety, just like Doug Plank did for the Bears and intercepted it. Hey, yeah, there's a job opening in Green Bay for you, Chris. Strong safety. <laughs> There's a lot of jobs available. Guards. North has it. They're on top, 15 to four. Fritch. Defensive end. They're leaving Herman open. He'll say, I'll shoot it. Hermie hustling back on the defense. Establishes position. No call. Layup is up and good by Wickershine. Wickershen. Wickershen. We'll get it right. It's Wickershen. Pitch on a leaner off the glass, no good. A wild shot, not a good, good shot in that uh, possession. And as I speak, Peter Worth going to check in. It's 15 to six, North on top. Hedebrug has it on the wing, being guarded by Herman. Kirschen has it, being guarded by Pitch. Jump shot is blocked. That's the third block by North this, after, this evening. Jansen's shot is blocked by Tetchlog. I think KT's got all three, too. Inside feed to Herman. His jump shot in the lane is up and in for Brian Herman. He has five points. Good moving without the ball, Brian. We're going to get a timeout full one. Full Marty. timeout carry with the score 17 to 6 North. There's 5.58 remaining until halftime. New experience around every corner as you discover Wisconsin. Discover Wisconsin like you've never seen before. Coach Tom Desatel talking to the troops. Strong start for the Raiders tonight. Let's hope they can uh, keep that up. The only uh, thing that could hurt them there, Chris, is uh, the falls. Well, Trevor Gruby's been on the bench for a long time with his two. Everybody else only has one. North has committed six team falls, West Bend two. Yeah, Voigt doesn't have a basket and uh, doesn't even have a shot attempt up yet. And uh, Hedeberg's just one for two. 
The big fella Hayes took a little shot there. He's probably getting bandaged up. I'm sure that young man will be in shortly. Oh yeah, looks like a football player, so he's used to that. Oh, Voight is back in, Chris, number 10. Gets it over to Hedebrug. Bounce pass, Voight pushing it up now. And they got West Bend doing what they don't want to do, and that's pushing the ball. Well, and they push the ball, and uh, just not good decision so far for them. Seven turnovers in the ball game, but again, that's just not a very good pass. Maybe want to take that a little dip, bit deeper, Andy, and uh, make Kyle, you know, at least step that way, because uh, KT's just going to fill the middle. Don't tell him how to do it. It's a <laughs> secret. Jeez. Voight tosses it into his running mate, uh, Wiedemeyer. Now back to Voight. Looks like North is in a zone defense. Now they go up man to man. Nope, they're gonna sit in a zone. Joey Fritsch just, just didn't understand. <laughs> they don't play much zone, do they? A little bit on out of bounds is about it. Wiedemeyer on top, kicks it inside to Hedebrug. He's wide open and puts it up and in. That actually was Camache. Good backdoor cut there. Kind of snuck behind. That's just lack of communication by North. You got to talk when somebody cuts. And Tetchlog one on one with Hedebrook, and he schools them for an easy two. Tetchlog has nine points. It's 19 to eight. North up by 11. Now they're going back into the man to man defense. Brad Jansen had it right in the middle, and uh, Tetchlog sloughed right off of him. They'll let him shoot that 15 footer. Good decision to change up the D. West Bend had to figure it out first. How to attack it. Now they go back to their motion. Wiedemeyer behind the dribble, behind the back dribble, gets it in the middle of the lane. Jansen had his shot blocked, it looked like, by Schaefer, but they're gonna call a foul on Cody. Got him on the arm. Good help defense, however. Yeah, it was. Joey Fritz, you gotta stay in front there. Your drive penetration and dump caused the foul later on. Well, I noticed what uh, Herman is doing on defense, Chris. He's trying to front head of Brug, forcing him outside. That does leave the blob open. Correct. But uh, the other guys, especially Tetchlog, you know, you got to be aware of that. Yeah, and they were there for weak side help. There's no question. But the guard's got to stay in front and avoid that uh, dry penetration. Jansen missed the first free throw attempt. The old left-hander puts up the second. It's short. Pitch with the rebound. Worth has it on the push. Good help defense. Kick it out to Herman. He shoots again, no good. And coming away with it is Wiedemeyer. Well, he likes that behind the back dribble. Kicks it up, shot is up and in by Gamache. That time they ran to break the perfection. They did exactly what you told them to do, Chris. And I'm not <laughs> happy about it either. Yeah, they did, and North was a little slow on that one there. North on top, 19 to 10. West Bend trying to make a comeback. Petschlag with good position on Hedebrug. Looking to go one on one, shoots the jumper off the glass but couldn't get it down. Brad Jansen with the rebound. And West Bend coming down again trying to score. They've scored on the last two possessions. A basket and then a one for two free throw. Well, they're gonna get uh, Voigt with an offensive foul. And that's key, Chris, that's his second foul of the half. And getting ready to check in is Recursion. Voigt to the bench. Well, getting another shot at it is Rob Kane, Brian Herman. Gonna get a little bit of a rest, well-deserved, I might add. We're under three and a half left in the half. What's that's kind of a little trap. That ball is tipped away from Tetchlog. Good ball handling by uh, Cody Schaefer to keep it from being stripped from him. A little trap being run by West Bend here. North's got to recognize that. See what they run out of this. Tetchlog gets it inside to pitch. Pump fake, pump fake, puts it off the glass and in. Good job by both Tetchlog and pitch there. Oh, there's a travel. Good defense. Oh, Schaefer was just waiting for that pass to come over to Wickershon because he had it stolen for a layup. Yeah, a darn turnover cost him a steal. Yeah. 
And we get another timeout, this one by West Bend. It's gonna be a 30 second timeout. So we'll keep it right here. 21 to 10, North up 11. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the game that preceded this. Uh, Wisconsin Rapids really look good. Yeah, Wisconsin Rapids is, you know, better matchup for North than Oshkosh West. Oshkosh West is the bigger team, but Oshkosh, or excuse me, Rapids has got more guard oriented and likes to, you know, push the ball a little bit more, but they are smooth and uh, they're undefeated for a reason. You wouldn't have known it though. I think, uh, I think I countered in the third quarter and I might be exaggerating a little bit, but not much. I think, uh, Oshkosh West only had like five possessions in the whole quarter. I mean, they really slowed it down and ran a lot of clock. Yeah, they got out to a fast start too. I understand it was like four to nothing with Oshkosh and then it was like 20 to five and Oshkosh West got it a little closer but good runs by Rapids and like I said before, they brought everybody here and they're gonna be here tomorrow night to face the winner of this ball game. North has it and they have the lead. Worth trying to go one on one. Worth with just one shot attempt tonight, so he's just chopping at the bit, but no, it's all right. Everybody's getting in the flow tonight. Kick it out to pitch. He's not a three-point shooter. You won't see him shoot that much, but he does get up on his jump shot. That's about a 14-footer and put that one in. You don't see Nate shoot that shot very often. A bounce pass to Hayes. He puts it up and in. Nice to see uh, Nate Hayes back in the game. He had that uh, cut underneath the eye. Rather just see him in the game than see him in the game scoring, though. Etta Brug playing the tough D. Schaefer open and nails a three. Cody Schaefer with his first bucket of the night, and it's a three pointer. And it's 26 to 12. Long lead feed to Wiedemeyer. Tell you, West Bend's getting deep. Yeah, jump shot in the lane by Wiedemeyer. They're getting way deep on this press, and uh, it's not working out very well at this time. Just want to work them up the floor. You don't want to give up easy buckets. Catch the log. Uh, worth not expecting it. That wasn't a good play by uh, KT. First turnover of the ball game for Sheboygan. And that could have been a good pass too. I mean, just a little bit of miscommunication. Well. Kyle did earlier was take an outside shot, so what do you think when he when he's going up for that? Do you think he's gonna shoot the other well, one? Well, yeah, true, but he also passed the pitch, but that's, you know, and that's Kyle saying that's mine. It is a pass, uh, the passer's fault, but uh, would have been sweet. Ooh, really? Ball is out of bounds, but it's kicked by North. West Bend West will keep it. They're down 26 to 14. 139 remaining until halftime. I don't know if anybody touched that ball. It just it skid, like it skid off the ground and it looked like it was kicked, but I don't think it was. Yeah, I don't think it was either. Oh, well, they all can't be perfect like you and me. No. Inside feed to Hedebrug. His shot off the glass is in. Well, he Too gets deep. Up, he gets up on his jump shot. Too. Yeah, and he was deep. He was deep in the post that time. Nice, good position and uh, finished it. North was up. 26 to 12, around and out. Tetchlog fighting for the rebound, and then he falls out of bounds. And West Bend West has it. North had a 26 to 12 lead. West Bend West has now scored two straight times. It's 26 to 16. And Jeopardy are losing their double digit lead. He is over to Voigt. Very quick, gets around the defense. Two blue shirts trailing on that. Again, gotta stay in front. We saw a little bit of that when uh, the Deaners were at front. I was just gonna say, and, and uh, the Springborn and yep. Saberlick. Jump shot is no good. Tetchlog with the rebound. Worth on the push right up the center of the court. And good defense being played by West. They get back. Pitch, had the three open but didn't shoot it. Probably a good decision. 35 seconds remaining until halftime. North gonna try to go for one here. Up by 10. Good decision. Down West, to 25 seconds. West Bend's content to let them have it. That's Joey out on top also. 12 seconds remaining. We gotta go. Worth. Worth. Out to Fritch. 
couldn't get it. Pitch with the rebound, there's time. Jump shot, no good. It would have counted had it gone in. We're at halftime, and there you see it, north on top, 26 to 16. Stronger than you. You can't hold us back. Violence. We know what it takes to blow past you. And violence, we're just getting going. There is a place where a total stranger will give you their blood. A place where someone you never knew will save your child from drowning. Where a person who doesn't look like you, talk like you, or dress like you will give you shelter after a flood. That place is called America, where we look out for each other. When you help the American Red Cross, you help America. Come on, David. Come on, David. Let's go, David. Come on. Come on, David. You got the love. Get as involved in your kid's education as in everything they do. And imagine the success they might find. Stay in touch with the teacher. Visit the school. For more tips, call 1-800-281-1313. Sports Center getting ready to start second half action. Let's go through the scoring for Sheboygan North. They were led by Kyle Tetchlog, who had nine. Nate Pitch had six. Brian Herman had five. And chipping in with three each were Trevor Gruby and Cody Schaefer. North hit on four three-point baskets in the first half and were two for two from the foul line. For the West Bend West Spartans, they were led by Zach Gamache and Ed and Andy Hedebrug, who each had four. The rest of these people each had two. Jamie Wiedemeyer, Brent Wickershin, Nathan Hayes, and Brad Jansen. West Bend did not make any three-point baskets in the first half, and they were 0 for 2 from the line. Chris, uh, you know, we were somewhat concerned by all the fouls that North was committing early in the game, and uh, yet, West Bend only attempted two free throws, so it wasn't that bad, I guess. No, it wasn't, and unfortunately, or fortunately, you can look at it two ways. The only real offense that West Bend could really muster was off the press on easy baskets, so got to shape that up a little bit and uh, take care of business. I thought North played an outstanding half, and they're only up 10, so they got work ahead of them, yet this one isn't in the bank. Trevor Gruby starting the second half. Inside feed to Tetchlog, pump fake twice. Couldn't get Hedebrug off his feet. Worth with an offensive rebound. His shot is no good. Tetchlog trying to throw it off a West player. Couldn't do it, but a West player eventually knocked it out of bounds, so North will keep it. Oh, it looked like uh, Worth got hammered in, in the lane on his shot, but no call. Yeah, good offensive rebound again for North. They attempted 10 more shot attempts than, uh, than West Bend, uh, bad turnover. Boyd with a steal, he'll have an easy layup. And that's his first basket of the game, Chris. Yeah, they've really denied that guy. It's going to MSOE, Marty. Ruby's shot no good. Ketchelag has his has his rebound stripped away by Nathan Hayes, but they're gonna get him with a foul. For uh, Hayes, that's his first foul. North again hitting the glass, offensive glass, doing a nice job of that. 26 to 18, West Bend. Creeping back in. Ruby off a double screen, covered up nicely by uh, Voigt. And then the ball is thrown away. Wow. West Bend has it. A good feed by Wiedemeyer over to Voigt for another layup. And West Bend is coming back. One turnover in the first half, Marty. Two right away in the first minute. Make it three. And a turnover. Trevor Gruby not looking for the uh, pass. We got a 30 second timeout by North. Not a good start to the second half by the Raiders. No, just bad, bad decisions. You know, you don't mind turnovers, but when they're just poor passes, that, that you just is, cannot be accepted. Now you've got that 10-point lead down to six. It was at one point 26 to 12, 
It's now 26 to 20. There's the Howards, Debbie and Michelle. Yep, one of the Goldschlager twins. North High fans look happy there, but you know underneath they're a little bit concerned. As they should be. Boyd trying to get it into his running mate. He's gonna get a five second call if he doesn't hurry. That was a long five. Four, four and a half, four and three quarters. <laughs> Boyd being guarded by Worth. You talked for at least two seconds of it and we weren't talking for a while and that's a lot. Really? Boyd kicks it out. Hedebrug can't get it. Tetschlag with the rebound. I think we'll let him shoot that one. Cody Schaefer left alone. He can't get it in. Battling for the rebound, tips it. Worth has it, has it tipped away from him. Pitch grinding on the ground. We got a timeout by Tetschlag. Good North job, Kyle. The possession. Good job by Kyle Tetschlag. It's a 30 second timeout again by North. Well, they didn't use any in the first half, so this isn't uh, too critical. No, and that's not uncommon for Coach Desatel to save those timeouts, and that's just good headsy play by Sheboygan North. They need anything to just get a bucket and get some momentum back their way. I was gonna say, when we had a little bit of a break before they went to the, the fan shot on, on TV, was uh, North had a 26 to 12 lead, now it's 26 to 20. You know, North hasn't scored in about four or five minutes. Just need one here. Like to see Gruby get back in there. He's sat a long time. He's gonna have to take a little bit to get that sweat and his flow going a little bit. And when you set out for, you know, basically 13 minutes of the game. Peter Worth being covered up nicely by uh, West Bend. He has, has a hard time getting shots tonight. It's all right, be patient, mate. We got the lead in the ball. Nate Pitch trying to drive it in, couldn't. They're really packing it in there. Not given a, a pump fake by Worth. His jumper is leaping leaner is up and in. Good offensive set for Sheboygan North. Good patience. Had a couple opportunities to take some outside shots. Got a nice inside shot in the paint there with one of your best players. Kicks it up to Hedebrug. He charges in to uh, Tetzlock. No call and he lost it out of bounds, but they're claiming it went off a North player, so West Bend will keep it. It's 28 to 20 North. I don't know how that was uh, off north, bec or yeah, really north because he just lost it out of his hands. Tetzlock was on the ground. <laughs> Trevor Gruby in for a pitch. Got to get him going, got to get Trev going here. North in a zone, that pass goes into Gamache. Oh, Wiedemeyer has it, being guarded by Gruby. Wide open. Shot by Voigt is no good. Good pressure by Tetzlog. Schaefer with a nice rebound. Tetzlog backing in. Hedebrug puts it up and in. Great one-on-one -on -one move by Kyle Tetzlog. Hedebrug can't handle him when he gets that deep. Wiedemeyer with it between the legs, and then he throws it away. Two-on-one -on -one for North. Got to score. Good hustle. Ah. Wiedemeyer on a great block. North didn't run it that well that time. They had a two on one break. Too slow. Got to get deliver quicker. Actually, uh, Worth got so deep he should have just taken a shot. Wiedemeyer being guarded by Gruby. Hedebrug has it on the wing being guarded by Herman. Inside feed by Gamache. His shot is no good. Tetzlog with another strong rebound. Big miss there. Rebound number seven for KT. North has it and they have a 10 point lead. North working the perimeter, looking to get a three point shooter open. No movement for North, but they're uh, packed Herman in there. tried to bounce it in, but Hedebrug with good defense that time. And then the ball is tipped away from Wiedemeyer out of bounds. Not a good decision by Brian Herman that time. You have to be a little more patient. Let's go, Let's 
Voigt tossing it in to Hedebrug. Gets it right back, and then he goes right down the baseline. Good defense by North, covering up the West shooters. Herman blocks the shot by Voigt. Coach Desatel clapping, encouraging his team on. I tell you, that was a good defensive play right there, Chris, all the way around. Well, North just scrambling all over the place as we're known to, for their defense. Voigt got inside and scored and is fouled. Boy, just as we talk about the good defense, they let that happen. Voigt has six points in the quarter with a chance for number seven. Kyle Tetchlog commits his first foul. That's the first team foul by North. In well, the first, second half. first thing I always coached when I was coaching was if you, your guy is inbounding the ball, you stand and protect the basket. So yeah, yeah, lean to that side. All right, so that should never happen. That's got to be the guy guarding the inbounder out, and because you don't want that very simple situation to take place there. And my gosh, chance to cut it to seven again here, Marty. White puts it in, completes a three-point play. It's 30 to 23, North on top. Jansen is covering Herman. Hedebrug is guarding Tetchlog. Worth trying to get it in the lane, does, and kicks it out to Herman for a three-pointer, and he nails it. Brian Herman has eight points, two of them from three-point land. Voigt goes right by the North defense, and then the ball is tipped over to Jansen, and we get a travel call. There are the press paid off, Chris. Still, the numbers are just not sharp for uh, North. A lot of white shirts against one blue shirt there. Here comes North right away. This is what West doesn't know much about. Basket here would be big. Wiedemeyer regarding uh, Trevor Gruby, not allowing him to get the shot off. Worth, oh, he got inside. Jump shot, rolls off. Beat the defense, got a rare shot inside, but couldn't get it to go. Voigt right down the middle of the lane. Bounces around and down. Andy Voigt has nine points in the quarter, Chris. He's done all their scoring. It's 33-25, North on top. 238 and counting. North having a little trouble running the defense. Just gotta be patient. They have the lead. Hedebrug really battling Tetchlog inside. You can see him pushing and shoving each other. I think Kyle's gonna love to play wing in college. <laughs> They're gonna get a foul, finally called on Hedebrug while Tetchlog was down. Actually, that foul is gonna go on Jamie Wiedemeyer. Wiedemeyer commits his first. That's a second team foul. Andy Voigt checking out. It's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, really. Recursion in. Worth had a shot blocked. Tip by Tetchlog is no good. Two-handed rebound, and then we get another foul. I like Weed that attack by Worth, and of course you love him hitting the boards. Weedmeyer with another foul, Chris. Two quick ones. And a good shot at Tetchlog there. He's working hard tonight. Well, they ran out. Pump inside to Worth, his shot is blocked, but we get a foul called. Andy Hedebrug is gonna pick up his second foul. It's the second time they ran that inbounds play. I like it. Yeah, we haven't seen that one all year, I don't think. I like the way North playing, I just don't like that they're only up by eight there. They look sharp, they really look sharp, but uh, it's a pesky little defensive squad by these Spartans here, and they're giving North everything they can. Peter Worth. Picks up his third point. Pancake free throw by Worth is in. It's 35-25 North, up by 10 again. Who wants to dribble now? Oh. Wiedemeyer and uh, Voigt out. On the bust out, putting the jump shot up and in was Gamache. That was a nice shot. Yeah, he looks like a nice ball player. Schleider guarding uh, Schaefer. A 
lob looked like it was open for a minute, but Schlitter now is sliding over, preventing that. Ruby open for a second. Bango, but no shot. They're going to call a foul oh, on Cody Schaefer. Ouch. That hurts. Take away three points for North and add a foul to Cody Schaefer. And to make matters worse, Cody gets pulled out of the game. Coach not happy about that. Schlitter being guarded by Pitch. Ketchlock playing off of Jansen. Not a threat from out there. Camache has it out on top. He's a good looking ball player, Chris. Yep. A nice little jumper, quick yeah. jumper. He really gets up vertical and quick release and it's real pretty. Inside feed to Hedebrug. Shot is no good, but a foul called on North. Kyle Tetchlock picks up his second. There's 102 remaining in the quarter. North is up 35 to 27. Hedeberg is gonna go to the line to shoot a pair. That's point number five for Andy Hedebrug. home the second one. It's 35-29, North only up six now, Chris. Yeah, they just keep cr creeping in there. I know it's an old cliche, defense wins ball games. Well, that's, I think we're seeing that right here. Absolutely, this West Bend team really clamps it in there. How many times didn't we see Wisconsin under Dick Bennett do those kinds of things? Pitch has it knocked away, or pardon me, Worth, but Pitch almost came up with it. And then it's knocked out of bounds by Brent Wickershen. Recursion. I think it'd be very important that North scores again before West Bend. Well, there's 49 seconds remaining in that quarter. Bad ball, pass. Yeah, ball is tipped away. Jansen recovered pretty quick and then he got help from Voigt. Yeah, both West Bend players there and Hermie tried to squeeze it in there. Get a second chance though, Brian. Let's make it a good one. Well, they like to look inside on this, but they don't get it all to uh, Ruby. His shot is no good. Worth, rebound, put back is good. Keep hitting the glass, boys. Peter Worth has six points in the quarter and six in the game. Big basket, now I need a stop. Let's have a nice eight point lead going in a half. 37-29, down to 25 seconds. Boy trying to go baseline, a stop. By Tetchlog, he gets a shot off, it's no good. Hedebrug puts it up and in. Kyle left his feet. 15 seconds. Kick down to Pitch, jump shot, got it. Nice jump shot by Pitch, he has eight points. Deep pass to Voigt, they're gonna have time for a shot. His layup is good. Andy Voigt with 11 points in the quarter, Chris. And we're at the end of three, North on top. 39-33. Hear about a consumer problem? Like that refrigerator you just bought that's freezing you out. Oh, and telemarketers who won't stop calling. Have I got a deal for you? Well, stand up for your rights. Use the power of the Internet and the federal government at Pueblo.gsa.gov, the free consumer action website. Thousands of links to companies and government agencies with names, numbers, and advice to get your wrongs righted. Remember Pueblo, because you never know. Lazy bones, loping through the day. All over America, we're no longer just sedentary, we're stationary. And that's bad news for your bones. Because bones need weight-bearing activity to grow strong and stay strong. So get up, get out, get moving. A message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Never heard a word of. North was outscored in the quarter, 17 to 13. The big difference was uh, Andy Voigt, who had 11 of those uh, 17 points. 
A lot of easy opportunities for West Bend off the press. They gotta stay in front. Kirschen has it, gets it over to Wiedemeyer. West Bend West going with a three guard offense. Herman pressuring Wiedemeyer. Jansen trying to go one on one with Tetchlog. Travels, no call, his shot is no good. And Nate Pitch comes away with the rebound. North up six, just starting fourth quarter action. Ruby open for a second from three point land, can't get it. Herman high but couldn't get it. Groovy driving to the lane, lays it up and in. Well, a lot of people banging a ball around there, Marty, and a good second opportunity. Good movement of the feet. And West breaks the press. It's a two on one inside the Jansen who lays it up and in. An easy two for, for him. Too many easy ones. 41 35, North up six again. Inside feed to Tetchlog, the ball is kicked away. He was wide open. Yeah, good defense by West Bend. Just a kick, I mean, it's not a major thing, but it saved two points for uh, Sheboygan North. Hedebrug and Hayes are in. Checking out is with Kirschen and Jansen. West Bend just 15 for 30 in the ball game. That's 50%. 15 for 41 for Sheboygan North. They've relied on the three-point bomb to help them get their lead. Well, he is laying way off of uh, Herman and Hedebrug battling again inside with Tetschlag. Down the lane is Worth, tries to lay it up, couldn't get it in. And Voigt on the bust out. Voigt off the glass and in. Big second half, that's 13 points. North is up only four now. Inside feed to Tetschlag who lays it up and in. Great pass by Nate Pitch. We got a whistle stopping action. Cody Schaefer will be able to check in on this uh, stoppage. Tetralog now has 13 points. I'm worried, Chris. Well, I'm a little worried too. There's too many easy opportunities. Here's the situation now, just exactly. Uh -oh. And I got three blue shirts trailing and numbers are good for West Bend. We just gotta stop that stuff. Seen it here at Oshkosh too many times over the years. Pitch guarding Wiedemeyer out to Voigt, covered up nicely by uh, Peter Worth. Camache looking, North playing pretty good cover up defense. Hedebrug shot from outside uh -oh. the line is good. I think it banked in, Marty. Didn't look pretty, but that cut the deficit in half. Now we're gonna got a three point lead. 43 to 40, North on top. Ball is kicked by Gamache. Another good kick and keeping it alive. Herman tossing it in right in front of us. We're at 5.30 of the fourth quarter. North up three points. Worth in the lane. Pump fake. Got Gamache off the ground. Couldn't get it in. But Tetchlon with a rebound. Put back scores. That was huge. I like both of it. Worth and another fast break, Gamachi out. Ball is tipped by Tetchlog, but he kept control and laid it in. Another easy two points. And a timeout. Timeout by, Osh by West Bend West is a full timeout. With the score, North 45, West Bend 42. We'll take a short break with the emergency response team to help the firefighters. As you know, I was Fireman of the Year three times. You're Mariano Rivera. Thank you. Fireman of the Year is a baseball award. Yes. You're not actually a fireman. No. Fireman of the Year, huh? Just a few more minutes. When you help your neighbors, you help your nation. Make a difference, volunteer. Learn how at usafreedomcorps.gov. The winner of this ball game will play Wisconsin Rapids. There you see Dick Edmond in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. There you see Brian Andrews. Uh, Dick Edmond, longtime teacher and coach at Sheboygan North. He was my football coach when I was at North. 
along with Ron Neiman and Jerry Holland. But anyway, the winner of tonight's game will play Wisconsin Rapids. Rapids 23-0. and In uh, last rankings, they were uh, number three in the state. They bumped off the number one team in the state. Herman's going to throw it in. He's looking for some help. <laughs> And into the picture comes Peter Worth. <laughs> right on cue. Peter goes, well, I knew that. <laughs> Five coaches in front of us yelling, get down there and help them out. <laughs> North running their patterns, but uh, I'll tell you, West Bend just uh, playing very good defense. Catch log, leaning in one on one. And he beats him on the one on one move. Hedebrug having a whale of a time with catch log tonight. Kyle has 17 points. Another Wiedemeyer right down the lane. Jump shot is in. You got to stop him. Can't let him get that deep. Yeah, drive penetration, miscommunication. Nobody knew who they had. Still got the lead in four and a half. Herman from outside the line can't get it. Tetch log is fouled by Wiedemeyer. I thought Wiedemeyer had all ball, but uh, we're going to get the call. KT just having a huge half here. One, two, three, four, five offensive rebounds. And eight points. Cody Schaefer is going to check in for North. Jansen comes in. Edebrew going to take a rest for West Bend. Oh, no free throws on that. Catch log was on the ground. Catch log faked the three. Got it over to Schaefer, whose shot was blocked. Gamache came down with the standing rebound. North up 47-44. We're at 4-10 remaining in the ball game. Well, he no has it. North's got to shut him down. It's all about defense. Let him have it. He's, he's fired up. Ties up the ball game at 47. We're under four minutes. I would have let him have that one, Marty. We got a foul on West Bend. Ball is going to go on Brad Jansen. That's his first. That's the sixth team foul on West Bend. North is sitting with only three team fouls this half. That's good. North will be in the bonus next time. Tie game, four minutes left. Herman gets it into Worth. He goes down the lane. His jump shot is up and in. Peter Worth coming through. Pardon me, it's not Gamachu. Recursion has it, gets it over to Wiedemeyer, and he's got Gruby beat off the dribble and gets it right down deep outside. Hedebrug, his shot is no good. Tetzlog battling for the rebound, and we're going to get a foul on West Bend. That was pretty close, but again, Kyle Tetzlog just around the glass and in the paint and picking up rebounds. Nathan Hayes picks up his second foul, Chris, and uh, Kyle Tetchlock will go to the line this time to shoot the bonus. That looked like a pretty good shot, Marty. I like that shot a lot better than that kid the Hayes shot up there and that one went in. <laughs> well, the one thing is, Chris, him and Hedebrug, you know, they both take the outside shot and they're comfortable shooting it, so you know that they have some confidence. They may not look real good, but... Uh, I'm gonna fire him up there. You gotta get yep. the hand up on him. Ketchlock nails the first. That makes it 50 to 47. This free throw could make it a two possession game with the 331 remaining. That a boy KT, way to step up. This is the end now. Edebrew kicks it up. It's a two on two break. Going hard. Travel. Pitch with a block and they're gonna get a foul. And they're going to call it on Kyle Tetchlog. Recursion had it deep. And again, you know, just like you've been mentioning all game, West Bend is able to push the ball up the floor and get an advantageous, advantageous position underneath the basket. Coach. That goes on Tetzlock. It's not going to be. It. 
They're going to call it on Kyle Tetchlog. Yeah, they called it on him right away. But it was Pitch that committed the foul. He was the one that went up and well, blocked it. And yeah, it was a clean block, though. <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> so we got robbed twice on one play. That's all right. But justice prevails. He missed both free throws. North has it, and they have a four-point lead. Rolling down to 315. Worth. Schaefer. North working the perimeter. Ah, he got it inside to Worth. Pump fake, pump fake, and he threw it away. Shoot it. You're there, wow. shoot it. You've done that a hundred times, Peter. You know that's your, your shot. Go up strong, you might get fouled. Surrounded by taller guys, you can see maybe why he wanted to kick it out, but uh, you're right, get it that deep. You almost have to shoot it up there. Right away, he could have gone up, and he knows how to do that. Ederbrug kicks it inside to Voigt. His shot is blocked, and then we get a foul called. That one looks like a good call. I think it's going to go on Peter Worth. It is. That's Peter's second. It's the fifth team foul on North. Peter! Voigt will be at the line shooting a pair. West Bend has had a tough time at the free throw line tonight, Chris. Not this kid. Well, he made his two so far. This will be the ninth free throw attempt so far. They've made uh, five, make it four. Army with another rebound, number five. 51-48, North on top. Worth in the lane, pump fake, kicks it out. Shot not attempted by Herman. Battle inside again by Tetchlock. He works inside, loses the ball. Gets it over to, no three second count? No. Shot is blocked by Hedebrug, and we get a battle inside by Herman and a tie up. There's a lot of breaks there for Sheboygan North. Yeah, they were in the lane, unless they're calling no possession, and then there can't be a three second call. West Bend doesn't like that, and as you know, KT may have traveled too, so it's just yeah, a went down. <laughs> a lot of things not going very well for Sheboygan on that one. Cut a break. Oh, threw it away. Fast break. Wiedemeyer leaning in. Shot is up and in, and we got a foul called, and that's going to go on Tetchlog. That'll be his fourth. No, it's not. It's going to be on 31. Red Schmitz isn't in the game. have to get a clarification on who the foul was on. They're gonna call it on Cody Schaefer. That'll be Cody's third. That's a full time out, Terry. Let's take a short break. North on top, 51-50. Is Matt Burke of the Minnesota Vikings. Matt helps the United Way build stronger communities by supporting educational programs developed to help kids succeed. Matt went to Harvard. Where does lightning come from? Well, first we must understand the nature of atoms. Atoms are made up of positively charged protons and uncharged neutrons. This dynamic is called the electromagnetic force. Well, doesn't it come from the sky? Y yeah, yeah. Thank you. Matt Burke, he went to Harvard. There you see it. When we start action, Jamie Wiedemeyer will be at the line, shooting a free throw in an, in an attempt to tie up the ball game. You know, for a team that uh, doesn't like to push the ball, they've pushed an awful lot tonight, and as the game has worn on, Chris, they've gotten a little better at it. Right, and they, they're they taking what the defense has given them, which is a lot of spaces, a lot of open areas, and North take, excuse me, West Bend's taking full advantage of it. Wiedemeyer's shot is no good, but uh, Worth comes away with the rebound. North still has the lead only by one, though. And Boyd <laughs> went for the fake <laughs> and lands on top of Peter Worth. Worth will be at the line shooting. That was the eighth team fall on West Bend West. Peter knocks home the free throw. A lot of ball game left, two minutes. Here comes the big fella, Nathan Hayes. 
Hayes has uh, five points, nailed a three-pointer earlier in the quarter. Worth with a couple of pressure back free throws. It's 53-50, North on top. North setting up the press. Camache in the void. He takes uh, North, right? The school gets it down to Hayes, but they cover him up. North Hayes scrambling. Down the lead. Camache, easy layup. North they scrambling. Just penetrating. Yeah, North was just scrambling all over the place, trying to find their guys after the press. And West Bend does a nice thing to reverse the ball. And uh, they got themselves a uh, easy basket. All off the press there because everybody's trying to recover. And again, good ball movement by West Bend. Timeout is by West Bend. We're at 151 remaining. North on top, only one. And the, the press has not paid many dividends here in the second half. Was uh, semi-effective, I thought, in the first half. Well, West Bend's down to just one timeout, Marty. It's a little shocking a little bit with a uh, minute 50 left. I'm kind of surprised they called timeout there. Well, North Faithful get up on their feet. And that's, you like to see the North fans. You don't see the parents and people getting up very much especially at home, but this is it. This is the tournament. Appreciate what the effort of the boys are double doing. Team. They got the double team on again, Chris. We saw this earlier. Herman has it. Kicks it out to uh, Groovy. And that, well, they go back into a more of a standard man-to-man -man defense. Worth trying to take Gamache. Couldn't off the dribble, couldn't do it. Gamache right out on him. Ruby has it. He's being guarded by Wiedemeyer. Now Wiedemeyer steps out to play him more tight. Herman, body to body with Hayes. Worth trying to penetrate, but his penetration was stopped. Over Long to, uh, time. Ruby. Long time to hold it here. Herman inside catch log, and then he gets pulled. That's got to be an intentional foul and give him two shots. He didn't even go for the ball. Falls on Voigt, that's his fourth. We're right at a minute remaining. Kyle Tetchlog will be shooting one and one. That's point number 20 for Tetchlog. North up 54-52. Hey, you get a little worried when a possession takes that long. Yeah, it's just a lot of time to run clock. And like I said, West Bend plus is good defense, but way to keep your heads, boys. Worth taps it out. Tetzlog has the rebound, and North has it. And we get a foul called, and that's going to be five on Andy Voigt. Tough break for him. And the Spartans of West Bend, a good break for Sheboygan North. Outstanding tap back is right, Marty. Now you're in double bonus situation. You lost Voigt, been the catalyst bringing up the ball and just been a huge thorn for Sheboygan North. Was, was Kirshen coming in for Voigt? There you see him, number 12. I think Voigt would like to have that foul back in the first five seconds back. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You never Good know. Point. You just never know. North is up two, it's 54-52. Peter Worth will be on the line to shoot a pair. North is now in the double bonus. There's 55.8 seconds remaining. The release didn't look real good, but the end result was great. Well, Wiedemeyer's been flying up the floor as well, so uh, watch him. That's Big. a huge free throw, makes it a two possession game. A lot of clutch free throws. Yeah, clutch free throws by North Lay. West Bend's been up there and kind of rocking them. That's the experience. Camache has it. Traveled. Hedderbrook shot is in and out. Shot by Wiskirchen is no good. We get a foul called on the Raiders. That's on the foul goes on Peter Worth. That'll be his third. North saying that happened on the floor. The referees don't agree. 
Brent Laskirchen shooting a pair. Rolls that one in. His last trip, Chris, he was 0 for 2. Coming in is Tig Walters. Tig Walters, pardon me. That's clutch up. Two for two, it's 56-52 north, 35 seconds. Got some timeouts left, boys. Got North. some timeouts left. Got some timeouts yes, left. Beat the 10 second count. And we get a foul call. North up two. Trevor Gruby will be going to the line. That foul goes on Zach Gamache. That's his first. Gruby's first trip to the line tonight. to go. I really like that. I thought it was going to pop back out. But you got to think as a free throw shooter when you're in double bonus, the, your confidence level must be a lot better. Hey, I get two chances instead of the pressure of making that first of the one and one. Just 28 clicks left on the clock. A two Groovy possession knocked, game. Yeah, Groovy knocks home a pair. It's 58-54. Hey, I like this. Wiskirchen, if North pulls back, probably a good decision. I'll they can just keep him out of the lane. Wiedemeyer has been uh, really tough. Kicks it out. Shot by Hayes is no good. Pitch had it. Herman gets it back, and he's going to be fouled. And they're going to call it on Wiedemeyer, and he doesn't like the call. That's his fourth. Ryan Herman will be going to the line. 14.8 seconds remaining. North up four. Pretty good shot attempt by Hayes, but Kyle Tetchlog was running at him. And uh, again, there's Brian Herman in the clutch getting that rebound. Get two of them here, Brian. This is the one that's gonna count. Yeah, missed the first one. We gotta get this one down. It's a four point game. That's no good. Tap back by Pitch, North has it again. And we get a foul called. 10.7 seconds remaining. That's twice now on missed free throws. The Raiders have gotten the rebound. Well, where's... Yeah, they couldn't do it at uh, West Bend in the girls game. Well, West Bend players are standing there instead of, you know, they should seal. Everybody should seal. What are you doing standing out here for? You know, you got nobody uh, boxing anybody out. You're standing here all by yourself. Boy, North has hit a brick wall on these last three free throw attempts. They had enough earlier, Marty. It's in the bag. That one's good. North up 59-54. Wiedemeyer leaning in. No good, and he gets called for traveling. Well, I'll tell you what. The uh, West Bend uh, faithful are not going to like the officiating here at the end. Got a tough, couple tough breaks there, and I think that was a good call, though, Marty. Worth is just going to sit with it in the backcourt as the clock runs out. And North will be going to the sectional finals tomorrow night against 23-0 Wisconsin Rapids. The final here at the call center, North 59, West Bend West 54. Want to learn some history? Check it out. We have GED right here. Guaranteed. Mom. The National Center for Family Literacy. Yo, I got your arithmetic right here. Because you can't get your GED on the street. Call 1-877-FAMLIT1 for info on free family learning classes. distance we allow between those who have the power of information and those who don't. In AmeriCorps, we're working to bridge that gap so that all of us can get to a better place. We're going around the world, on the web. In AmeriCorps, it's not can you make a difference, it's where. It's your world. It's your chance to make it better. 
twins can be a handful. Buy one, get one free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my, our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my, <laughs> our life in knots. Ever consider a double major? We're back at Oshkosh where uh, Sheboygan North has defeated Talk about West Bend West. Standing by is Chris Wright with a couple of interviews. Take it away, Chris. Welcome back, everybody, with Nate Pitch and Brian Herman. Nate, uh, good start tonight, uh, you know, playing in a sectional game like this. West Bend may have been a little bit nervous, but you guys played really well to get going. Uh, yeah, we, we've been here a couple years in a row now, and I think uh, that helped us compose ourselves before the game and come out strong. Yeah, they really did a nice sight uh, de defensively against you guys and, you know, really packed it in there. So, you know, and they spread things out and you got going in the first half, got some shot attempts and made some buckets. Yeah, they're a tough defensive team. They haven't given up a lot of points all year. So we just had to find what we could get. and We did. Yeah, I thought, you know, they did a real nice job of taking things away from uh, Worth and Tetchlog and guys like you and Brian and, and yourself uh, had to create opportunities for yourselves and you guys did a good job of doing that. Yeah, they, they focused on the right spots tonight and they, they gave us a real run. I was surprised at how well they played. Well, good luck tomorrow night, Nate. We'll see you tomorrow night when we come back here. Uh, Brian, your defense has been tough all year, and again, I think you did a real nice job defensively in half court. Uh, press kind of did struggle a little bit, but I thought the half court D played well again. Yeah, we tried to stay in front, but that didn't work too well. <laughs> Boyd ran it down the middle, and we had to get back, and sometimes we weren't able to do that. Yeah, that's true. Three-point bombs in the first uh, first quarter. You, you guys got a lot of opportunities. I think you took 10 three-pointers in the in the first quarter, and you guys were hitting them a little bit, and then you got one later on. And, you know, I guess it's take what you get, huh? Yeah, it's been a big part of our game. But after we started getting the ball down to Kyle and Worth, we started pulling away a little bit in the beginning. Yeah, I think that's true, no question about it. You guys really, you know, got a little close underneath there, but I really thought you guys kept your composure, banged the boards, and, you know, closed out the deal. Yeah, Worth hit some free throws down the stretch. Nate got a couple offensive boards. That was big for us. And then we just ran out the clock. <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely true. Uh, play, tough playing on a longer court, or are you not any different than a regular basketball court? Does it seem any different when you're out there? Uh, a little bit, not too bad, because we run a lot during practice. <laughs> Well, that's what I said, too. I said in the opening, you guys are in pretty good condition. Uh, Wisconsin Rapids tonight, or excuse me, tomorrow. Get a little bit of rest tomorrow, a little shoot around tomorrow. Get ready to go tomorrow. Yeah, they look like a good team. We'll come out ready. Yeah, I think you guys have a real good shot. Uh, that's all from here. We'll send it back to Marty. Let's go through the scoring for uh, West Bend West. They were led by Andy Voigt, who had 14 points, all 14 coming in the second half. He had a very strong third quarter, getting 11 of those. Next in line was Andy Hedebrug, their big inside guy. He had 11. Uh, Zach Gamachi, a real fine looking basketball player, had 10. And then Jamie Wiedemeyer, their lightning quick guard, had six. Brent Wickersham had four. Nathan Hayes had five. And then rounding out the scoring was uh, backup big man Brad Jensen. He had four points. For the Raiders, they were led by uh, Kyle Tetchlog, who just had a great game. He ended up with 20 points, 11 of those coming in the second half, and uh, nine of those in the fourth quarter. Also chipping in with 13 was Peter Worth. Then with eight each was Brian Herman and Nate Pitch. Trevor Gruby had seven, and Cody Schaefer rounded out the scoring with a three-point basket. North finished up 14 for 18 at the free throw line. That was the big difference tonight. They also had five threes, four of those coming in the second half. Great job by the crew. Brian Andrews behind that camera. Andy McKillop on the top camera. Kerry Coutzer spinning the dials in the truck. I'm Mike Martin for my partner, Chris Wright. We're gonna say so long, everybody. Stay tuned because we'll be right back here tomorrow night when uh, Sheboygan North has to play Wisconsin Rapids. That's it from Oshkosh. We'll see you down the road.